So I just walked by this catnip plant and saw that it was just completely covered in ladybug larvae. And I want to talk a, a second about why this is a good thing. So um, this plant has, has aphids all over it. I didn't notice it until I saw the ladybugs, but you can see there's aphids all, hopefully that's coming through on the camera, but there's aphids all over this plant. But the thing is, is if this catnip wasn't here, if these aphids would be all over my peas or something else. But since this catnip got started before everything else did, the pests were attracted to this. So now I'm going to have a really healthy population of ladybugs because there's a ton of food for them here. And then if the aphids start to move off to some of my other plants, they're already going to be here to handle the problem for me. So you can see this, this plant is just covered in ladybug larvae everywhere. And if I would have used pesticide or if I would have sprayed the aphids off manually, I wouldn't have all these ladybugs um, because there wouldn't be any food for them. So sometimes it's good to let pests like aphids and things of that nature that have natural predators um, get established on a plant that you don't care that much about so that you can get the, the good guys going in your garden to handle the plants that you really do care about.